tipping point. This is a payload that we've been working together between Blue Origin and NASA, so it's a really interesting collaboration. It's tied into the work that we're doing in terms of getting NASA and America back to the moon. So we're taking the best of NASA sensor developments across the agency, taking one or two commercial offerings, putting them on the propulsion module of New Shepard. And what's really valuable with the propulsion module is coming all the way back from space and doing a propulsive landing, which is very akin to what we want to do with the lunar lander. So we're replicating landing on the moon using New Shepard. We've generated maps of West Texas and put them into the train relative navigation software, so it'll be navigating relative to that. And we'll also then get this range and range rate from the LIDARs that we can compare to our GPS data. This tipping point flight is a great showcase of the propulsion module as an active testbed for landing sensors. This is really the first time that we've put payloads right on top of the booster. It's going to be fully exposed to space. We want a way to land on the moon regularly, autonomously, with higher precision. We don't have GPS on the moon, and not only do we re require that same information, we also need to do it with much higher precision than we did in the Apollo days. Their landing target was on the order of miles. Our landing target is 100 meters or less. While we're descending through the surface at fairly high altitude, we're going to use the terrain relative navigation, kind of like a GPS by comparing images taken from a high-resolution camera to images stored on the onboard computer, we can know where we are relative to the lunar surface. Then I switch over at a few kilometers above the surface to the LIDARs that are then gonna be giving me range and range rate directly to the surface. This is technology that's been matured by NASA for, in some cases, 10 to 15 years. And so through this partnership, we can take those technologies, demonstrate them with the idea of infusing them into our future products. And this particular experiment is going to help NASA land on the lunar surface faster, safer, and repeatedly.